What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back. For this camera comparison we have the brand new iPhone 12 and of course the Huawei P40 Pro. For this recording I'm using the front facing cameras on both devices and recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. As you can probably see for yourself I am walking fairly slow. Now keep in mind that it is windy so you're probably gonna hear some wind as well. As always throughout this video we're gonna see a bunch of daytime pictures. I have some portrait mode pictures, we have some zoom pictures, we have pictures taken with the ultra wide lens. Um, I also have a bunch of nighttime pictures and for those of course I use the night modes on both devices. We have sample videos and of course selfies. And with that being said I think we should start by checking out um, the portrait mode pictures that I took during the day and we'll move on from there. Oh and don't forget to press that like button. Alright, so after looking at the portrait mode pictures that I took, I have to say that the Huawei P40 Pro does better for edge detection almost every single picture. So for edge detection, yes, the P40 Pro is better. But then looking at the colors in those pictures, well, the color of my jacket actually looks like the color that you are seeing from the pictures taken by the iPhone 12. Not to mention that my face looks a bit brighter. It's also a bit redder than normal. But um, overall, I still believe that I prefer the portrait mode pictures taken by the iPhone 12. So something in the middle would have been ideal, but um, that's what we get from the P40 Pro and the iPhone 12. So what do you guys think? Which one does better for um, portrait mode pictures? Definitely leave a comment and let me know. Next, we're going to move on and check out some um, pictures that I took with the ultra wide lenses on the back of these two devices. The first thing you're going to notice here is um, the massive difference for the field of view. So you can definitely see way more in the pictures taken by the iPhone 12. Not to mention that the colors from the pictures from the iPhone 12 do look a bit more um, vibrant and the pictures are also a bit sharper. The only thing that um, the Huawei P40 Pro does better in those um, pictures taken the ultra wide lens seems to be the dynamic range um, for those um, pictures. So either than that, I feel the iPhone 12 does um, better. And once again, let me know what um, you guys um, think. Next, we're moving on to some zoom pictures. And for zoom pictures, well, on the back of the Huawei P40 Pro, we do have a five times um, telephoto lens, but um, I did three times zoom. So this way, both devices are actually using digital zoom. So we are not um, using optical zoom with either device. And looking at those pictures, once again, the iPhone 12 kind of retains the original colors better. In some of those pictures um, that I took, the Huawei P40 Pro does tend to change the colors completely from um, what I was actually seeing. As for sharpness, in a couple of those pictures, the P40 Pro does better and in a couple of them, uh, the iPhone 12 does better. So once again, I think I would choose the iPhone 12 just because um, it did retain the colors better in those um, pictures. What do you guys think about those um, zoom pictures? Of course, if I would have done like five times um, zoom, the P40 Pro would have been better because then it would have used that telephoto lens. But I wanted to make this comparison as fair as possible. And we are moving on to pictures that I took with the main lenses on the back of the iPhone 12 and of course the Huawei P40 Pro. And I never imagined that I would be saying this, but it almost looks like the iPhone 12 does better in about 90% of those um, pictures. The picture sharpness is better from the pictures taken by the iPhone 12. The colors do seem to be closer to the colors that I was seeing with my own eyes. Not to mention that in some of those pictures, the Huawei P40 Pro kind of tends to have a bluish tint um, over those pictures. I think it gets that bluish tint from the sky, but um, looking at the pictures, I just don't like how um, they look and I do prefer the ones um, from the iPhone 12. So as I said, I never imagined that I would be saying that, but um, yeah, it looks like the iPhone 12 um, does um, a bit better with the main lens than the Huawei P40 Pro. We have to keep in mind that the Huawei P40 Pro is getting pretty old now. I think this is like eight months old now, or six, six months old, but still. So what do you guys think about the pictures that I took with the main lenses? Which ones um, do you prefer and why? Definitely leave a comment and let me know. And we're gonna move on to some pictures that I took during the night to the iPhone 12 and of course the P40 Pro. Now for the nighttime pictures I did use the night modes on both devices and the night modes are available for the ultra wide lens and for the main lens. So first we are starting with the pictures taken with the ultra wide lenses and of course the night modes on both devices. Now every single picture that I took with the Huawei P40 Pro with the ultra wide lens seems to be sharper than the pictures that I took with the iPhone 12. So every single one of them. But then looking at the colors in those pictures, um, well, the iPhone 12 does make those pictures look a bit more pleasing, more, more like eye candy, if I may say, more Instagram ready. 
So I feel that a lot of people are actually gonna prefer the pictures that I took with the iPhone 12 even though they weren't um, as sharp. So I'm not sure what to say. Some of them I do like how they turn out from the Huawei P40 Pro but some of them I do like from the iPhone 12 just because of those um, more saturated looking colors. So it really comes down to your um, personal preference I feel. Next we are um, checking out some pictures that I took with the main lenses and for the main lens I feel that every single picture that I took with the iPhone 12 is sharper. So for the ultra wide lens it was the P40 Pro but for the main lens um, the iPhone 12 does seem to do better for sharpness. And once again the colors in those pictures even though when you actually go outside at night you don't see those vibrant colors that you are seeing in the pictures taken by the iPhone 12. I feel that once again a lot of people are gonna prefer the pictures from the iPhone 12 just because they look a bit more saturated and more well, pleasant in a way. So hard to say which one is better for nighttime pictures. I think it comes down um, to your personal preference. So once again um, check out these pictures and definitely leave a comment down below and let me know um, your thoughts. Next we're gonna check out some sample um, video recordings that I took with the iPhone 12 and of course the Huawei P40 Pro. So first of all for sound um, quality, so for the internal microphone, um, whenever you are recording with the front facing cameras the Huawei P40 Pro seems to do better. So it must have a microphone um, position somewhere so it can actually catch the, the sound from the front. But when you are recording the rear cameras the iPhone 12 does seem to do a bit better. However the iPhone 12 doesn't handle um, wind um, that well. So when it's windy the Huawei P40 Pro seems to do better. For video quality the image stabilization is pretty similar in between the two but I think the iPhone 12 has the edge but for video quality hmm, they are pretty close I'm, uh, I'm gonna say. Even though the colors from uh, the videos um, filmed by the iPhone 12 are a bit more saturated and makes those videos look a bit more um, pleasant. As for nighttime recordings I've done something a bit different so I use the ultra wide lens on the back of the P40 Pro and the main lens on the iPhone 12 because those are the, the cameras that are better on each device. So you're gonna see that in those um, recordings. And for nighttime recordings I almost feel like the Huawei P40 Pro does a bit better. A tiny bit better even though the videos um, from the iPhone 12 are a bit sharper and less noise. And with that being said let's check out those um, recordings and definitely leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts about the recordings that I got from these two devices. All right, we have a quick video recording between the Huawei P40 Pro and of course the iPhone 12. For this recording, I'm doing 40 at 30 frames per second and using the ultra wide lenses on the back of the two devices. So we're gonna stop somewhere around here. I'm gonna pan left slowly. And back right. And I can already see on the screens here that uh, the field of view on the iPhone 12 is much um, wider. And uh, next, I guess we're gonna walk for a bit. So you can see how the image stabilization does well um, using the ultra wide lens. And I'm also gonna run for a bit. So yeah, this is how a recording would look from the Huawei P40 Pro and the iPhone 12. If you're recording in 4K 30 frames per second and using the ultra wide lenses on their backs. Next, we're moving on to another quick recording between the Huawei P40 Pro and of course the iPhone 12. For this recording, I'm using the main lenses on the back of the two devices and once again recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. It's also a bit windy, so you're probably gonna hear some wind in this recording aside from my voice. So we're gonna walk this way towards the water. We're gonna stop maybe somewhere around here. Here we're gonna pan right slowly, so towards those buildings. And then we'll uh, go left, and I guess we'll go up and walk a bit so you can see how the stabilization um, looks while using the main lens up on the back of these two devices and once again recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. Alright, this is our first um, video test in low light between the Huawei P40 Pro and the iPhone 12. Now for this recording I'm doing something a bit different. I'm using the ultra wide lens on the back of the P40 Pro and the main lens uh, on the iPhone 12. Mostly because the ultra wide lens does better in low light um, on the P40 Pro where the main lens on the iPhone 12 does better in low light. So I wanted to make like a fair comparison. So if you're recording at night with either device, uh, definitely use the ultra wide lens on the P40 Pro and the main lens uh, 
on the iPhone 12. So yeah, this is how a recording in low light would look like recording uh, in 4K at 30 frames per second. And let's stop here and pan right slowly. And back left. And we are moving on to our second recording in low light between the Huawei P40 Pro and of course the iPhone 12. Once again I am recording in 40 at 30 frames per second and using the ultra wide lens on the back of the Huawei P40 Pro and the main lens on the iPhone 12. As I said earlier, um, if you're using the ultra wide lens on the back of the P40 Pro, you get more uh, light and better videos. If you're using the main lens on the back of the iPhone 12, you get more light and uh, better videos. So yeah, this is how recording in 4K at 30 frames per second between these two devices would look like. So what do you guys think about those video recordings? Pretty hard to choose the better one um, in those um, recordings, mostly at night, um, I'm gonna say. Alright, next we are moving on to check out some sample selfies. So first we are seeing some daytime sample selfies that I took with the iPhone 12 and the Huawei P40 Pro. And for sample selfies, um, for daytime selfies, um, I feel that the iPhone 12 does better in every one um, of those, mostly because um, my face has a bit more detail. As for nighttime selfies, once again, I feel that the iPhone 12 does um, a bit better. So both devices have a night mode for selfies, but whenever you're using the night mode um, and take selfies with the Huawei P40 Pro, nothing actually happens. So it's like it's there, but it's not. So I have to say that I was quite um, impressed and I never imagined I would say that, but the iPhone 12 does seem to do better for pictures than um, the Huawei P40 Pro. At least overall, not for every single picture, but overall I think um, the iPhone 12 does a bit better. So once again, um, leave a comment down below and let me know um, your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.